The all-dominant Italians take on the all-dominant Germans in the first game. We then take on their rivals in the second one, as our Champions League campaign this season gets off to a flyer. Hello folks and welcome back to another episode of Revisiting Napoli here from the Half Side of Five Star Series. As I said in the intro, we are taking on the all-dominant German force known as Bayern Munich. We then take on Dortmund in the second one, doing a little bit of time travelling to get the league games out of the way. Speaking of the league, we are currently top of the table by one point. 1-5, one drawn one, lost none. So picking up 16 points and we're, clear, we're a point clear of Monza and two points clear of Juve. So we're doing brilliant there. We just need to get a goal scorer. Ferry doesn't seem to be out there at the moment. If we have a look at the, uh, the goal side of things... Uh, he is down in fourth at the moment with nine. Uh, not nine, sorry. He's only got the four. But Chevalier's got four. And so has Rui Costa. So uh, we just need to just need him scoring goals again like he has done. Past two seasons for us. Uh, in the league then, we drew with Atalanta. We beat Crotone 5-0. And then we beat Salatana 6-0. I can never know how to say that. If you guys know how to pronounce that one. That's what the comment section's for. Come and correct me. That's what we want. So, let's jump in to the Bayern game then. It is at their ground. If we can get a point here, I will be very, very happy. This is one of the teams that I picked out that we might lose to. Point here would be brilliant. So, the team we're putting out there is Levering goal, back four of Lacco, Marcato, Mayshaw and Djokovic. Garrido at the base midfield with Coste and Victorino in front of him. Chevalier on the left, Galan on the right. Ferry up front. This, on paper, is it a gimme for the Bayern? I, I don't think it is. I, I'm, I'm definitely sure that we can compete with them. Just fingers crossed we don't get the get the loss here. It's, it's, it's a game which could go either way. As, um, as, as, I sort of, as I sort of said, I'd be happy with the draw here. I want to progress through. I don't want to be in the last six, in, in the knockout stage. I want to get to the last 16. I want to finish in those top eights. Definitely a game that we, if we can pick up a point here would be great. And we had the first highlight. Galan with the corner. has been headed back out to him. He's in the box. Darts around. Goes outside to Garrido who's been dispossessed. Luckily the ball's fallen to uh, Marcato. And we've got it on this right hand side still. Space on the left. We can use it. We aren't at the moment. Costley's fed that through into Ferry. Oh, did he hit the goalkeeper there? And I think the ball hit the goalkeeper and looped up. Very good opportunity for us to try and take the lead in this game. It has been all Bayern by the match stats. We had five shots, two of those on target. We had the better XG, but they've got the possession. Corners are the same. We're fouling, like, fouling them like nobody's business as well. We just can't seem to get a foothold in the matches. Bayern have registered yet another shot, and that one being on target as well. So we need to step it up in the second half as we approach half time. There goes the halftime whistle. What do we say to them at halftime to try and try and get something going? Because our front three have been very poor. Let's say that to them. Let's go individuals. Uh, keep it going. You can make a difference. You weren't that bad. I have faith in you. You've not been good enough. Pull it together. It's fired those three up. We're also going to go on the attack. The attacking mentality. And I'm also going to encourage the boys. I think that should be enough to get us going forward. As Bayern have registered another three shots, their XG is still below ours. We definitely have a couple of goals in us. I know we do. We can make some substitutions here. Uh, who is playing ridiculously poor? And it is the front three. So I think that's the three that we need to change then. So Raspadori on for Chevalier. Uh, Botini can come on for Ferry. And on that right-hand side, we don't have anyone who can play there. Coste can play there. So we'll bring Susik on. If I can grab him, there we go. Susik, put Coste there, swap him with Victorino. Go with that one for the remainder of this game where I think changing that front three should give us a better dynamic now. Bayern have, have kept him quiet. It's Botini with a free kick. He's already picked up a yellow card. Seven minutes coming onto the pitch. With that free kick, oh, he wasn't far off, was he? Oh, over the wall, just couldn't get it under the crossbar. Good effort. Bayern have taken the lead now with the XG, so we need to get ourselves back into this one. I'm going to encourage them again. I think that's all we can do, trying to encourage them to step it up. We haven't been at the races at all today, although the highlights have been in our favour. Four minutes of time added on. We've picked up a point here. I said I'd be happy that at the start of it, but yeah, those, uh, discipline was a little bit poor in the second half. Not to, be, not to be the result though, pick up a point, happy with that. Let's move on to Dortmund. So, just the two league games played in between the 
Bayern game and the Dortmund game, we beat Udinese 5-1 and then drew with Genoa 1-1. Uh, we are top of the table, but it is on goal difference with Juventus now. we got one better goal difference to them. They have the same points. Uh, Alessandro Ferri now has six goals, so he's in the top three. Ten behind Valovic, though, so yeah, he needs quite a few more goals to catch him up. So, the team we're putting out there for the Dortmund game, then, is a levering goal. A back four of Lacco, Thiago, Maceo and Djokovic. Garrido at the basement field. Costa and Victorino in front of him. Raspadori on the left. Chevalier on the right. And Ferry up front. Galan has picked up a torn hamstring. It was on the international break with Spain. He's going to be out for two to three months. So, we're going to have to rotate who we use out on that right-hand side. We've got Kosu can play there. We've got Becker. We've got Chevalier. We have options that can play there. It's just on that left-hand side where we might come a cropper. But either way, we will sort it out. Chevalier's got the ball on the right-hand side. He's right at the byline. Gives it back to Djokovic. Maceo now. Where is the space? Where can we exploit it? Because we're a little bit compacted at the moment. Costa stepped in to try and create the space. Hasn't well, managed to get it. There's space there on the left-hand side. Lacquin to Raspadori. Touches it to Ferry. Djokovic with the shot and it's a good save from the Dortmund goalkeeper. Real strong left hand, palms it out for a corner, which Raspadori puts in and it's been cleared back out to him. He just toe pokes it to Greedo. A little bit of a uh, little bit of confusion with him and Raspadori there. Who was going to take the ball? It's resulting in the ball going back into our defence and nothing come of it. Raspadori then free kick, whips it in back post. Maceo is there to get the goal. I thought it came off Chevalier's head. He was the one who was highlighted. He's the one that's name come up. But nope, it's been given to Maceo. Dortmund nil, Napoli won. Just the start we wanted inside the first 15 minutes. It puts us up to fifth in the league phase. We just need to stay strong, maybe get a couple more goals. Garrido's chasing this ball down after it's been cleared. He's got acres of space to run into. And we're flooding men up the right-hand side. Victorino into Ferry. Another good save from the uh, Dortmund goalkeeper, although the flag has gone up for offside. We hit them so quick and so fast in with players. I, I'm just surprised we didn't get any, any goals. I'm surprised we, we couldn't stay onside. Uh, I thought we were going to get a, a, a penalised then for pulling the Dortmund player back. Ball gets whipped in. Oh, oh, that hurts. Header from quite far out in the box. Dortmund get themselves back into it. 24 minutes on the clock. Lever should have been saving that one, although... Could he see it through the crowd of players in the box? I don't know. Either way, we need to get ourselves back into it, don't we? We need to get ourselves back into the lead. And Maceo, the goal scorer, has a free kick, gives it to Victorino. Chevalier, one too many touches. Maceo slides in. Brilliant challenge. Well-timed as well. And Garrido's just played us into trouble. Oh, we dealt with it. No, we haven't. Yeah, we have. No, we haven't. What have we done? Just get rid of the ball. Lacco, get rid of the ball. Garrido into Victorino. Just play it forward. Coste, Raspadori's got it now. We turned it into the left-hand side where Laco is into Coste's path, who's been dispossessed. Victorino from the edge of the box. He has a pop and it goes over the bar. We were creating so many issues then. It's, we, we, we can't be doing that against teams in the Champions League. Thiago gets a head. Well, hand, not a head. It was a hand. Free kick to uh, Dortmund there. Why did he lead with his hand up in the air like that? You, you, you're taught that, aren't you? Not to do that. Half-time, 1-1. This is a game I'm expecting us to win. Um, I'm just going to look at the fitness-wise of our players. It's Djokovic that does need to come off. And we will bring on... We'll bring on Militao and we'll swap him with Thiago. That's the only substitution we are going to make at the moment. We'll probably go another 15 minutes in-game. And uh, make some changes then. But we, we, we need to get ourselves back into the lead. We're going on the attacking mentality. I think that's the best option. We are playing a, a, a Dortmund team that do have some very good attackers. I don't know what their defence is like. But we can definitely exploit them with the uh, the attacking options that we have available to us. Costa's having a poor game. So we're going to swap in with Susic. Swap him in positions with Victorino. And uh, the other change will be at left back. I think Nets can come on for Lacco. Go with that. That's the changes. Half hour to go. We need to influence this game. It's a Dortmund free kick. We, uh, I think we can get a challenge in at some point here. I'd like us to get a challenge in. We're, we're not troubling while they're Victorino there. He, he troubles him. He hassles him. He wins the ball. Gives it the victory. Uh, I've lost who got the ball then. The ball went to Raspadori. It's gone into the box eventually. Fairies put it in the back of the net. Is it going to be ruled off? What's VAR saying? 
Our arms haven't gone up. It's been disallowed. It's the second one where we've been a judge to be offside. We, uh, yeah, we need a little bit of luck. There's, oh, I thought that was going to be the luck then. Very snatched onto a ball, a poor ball from the Dortmund defender. Just couldn't put it away. Normally he would he would put those balls away. He'd, he'd lap them up. He'd eat them for dinner. But no, not today. Raspadori needs to come off on that left-hand side. So Botini can come on there. Garrido's tired. So Aguari can come on. And that is the last of the substitutions for us then. Tiago with a throw-in into Chevalier. Can, can Botini get a goal? Or Raspadori, sorry, before the end of the match. Garrido! That's his last contribution of the match. Nearly scoring as the substitutions go through. Um, I'm going to demand more. We uh, we should be demanding more. We should be getting more out of this game. Oh, Dortmund nearly hurt us again then. Free kick, ran the wall, hits the crossbar. We've fallen out of the top eight as we approach the end of the game. Four minutes of time added on. This is a wasted opportunity for us. Wasted opportunity to get three points. Yeah, so Champions League is not going how I'm expecting it at the moment. I expected us to be on at least seven points now. We're currently sitting here on five. We need to pick the results up in the next one. Uh, the next one is going to be off camera. It is going to be um, Chris Venner, however you say that game, the Serbian side. Uh, but when you come back, you will see Marseille and you will see Man City. So we need to progress better in the Champions League. It's a little bit like last season where we were falling by the wayside. Hopefully... When you come back for the next one, we will be better. Hopefully. Thank you for watching.